My name is Stephen Gill. I am the co-owner and CEO of Who Footwear. Who is a footwear brand. We're fundamentally footwear manufacturers. We have our own factory and we try and reflect the skills of our factory and our products and in the way we work and the people that we work with. It was very important that we stick to the same kind of guidelines as a brand, which is everything's a reflection of who we are. The actual uh, main characters in the actual ads are guys that work on our brand. So we have guys that are our creatives in the UK. The hand illustration work obviously reflects the handwork in the actual footwear. For spring, summer 15, we're introducing a pair of um, one style that is specifically dedicated to Hector and Tom. Uh, who work at the Foot Soldiers, they're the owners of the design agency. Um, and actually one shoe's called Hector and one shoe's called Tom and together they're a pair. Beginning of each season what we'll do is just look at the market, look at trends, but then really then decide where we want, how we want that to be represented in our product. Then we'll build up a collection purely from a conceptual point of view. Um, we'll agree the way that we want that to be constructed and then the guys go away and start the design process. We work with classic patterns, classic styles, we update, but then we all add our own specific signature details to every style. Uh, and we also then involve the factory at that stage because it also very much depends on the material availability. First thing that happens when the design comes to the factory is that the design is given to a pattern maker. He'll cut a pattern um, and then he'll make the first sample. And at that stage, we kind of look at key lines, look at how that needs to be amended and just amend any small details. This is hand stitching, and there's an element of hand stitching in every pair of hoe shoes. The things that we wanted to make sure we incorporated were the skills of the factory. We always wanted to make sure that we use the factory as a start point, so the product is the start point of everything that we do. After the upper is finished, we add it to the last, we add adhesive to the upper and the insole board. One of the key things about having the facility here is that it's so much easier to come here work on development, get it right first time, it gives us a lot more flexibility and control. It's important that we treat the full grain leather ready for lasting. The operator then takes the upper, he adds it to the last, and then using the four part lasting machine, the shoe starts to take its form. The next operation is the side and seat lasting, which is done by hand. Quickly then goes over to the back part molder, where the heel starts to take shape. The sole is then fitted and marked to ensure it's in the right place. Finally, the sole is attached with a sole press. And last but not least, adding the leather laces and a final QC check. I think seeing the whole process from start to finish is, is exciting, but it's also a bit scary. But the first time you actually get a reaction to what the collection is, is when you start to launch the collections. And that's when you get a real true reading of how successful what you've been working on is gonna become. And one of the key things I've picked up um, through experience is you can't rush this. You know, it takes time, it's step by step. You know, you can't just build a brand overnight. You've got to make sure that you're working with the right partners. Um, you've got to make sure that you're supporting each area of the business from design through to production, sales, and through to marketing. For us, it's continuing doing the same things, which is concentrating on good product, taking our time, building with good customers, picking the right partners, and looking forward to a good future.